is Miss Heather with the Hagerstown Public Library and we are going to be doing virtual STEAM projects. We will have them to be picked up. If you want to do the projects at home, they will be out on our front porch on the red cart like everything else we've done. Um, we will also have them available if you would like an email instead of picking up a packet. So those are some different options you can do to pick them up or you can just watch them virtually through here. So today we are going to be doing, let me show you, fun blow painting. So this involves, you're going to need, let's see, a small cup of water, which we have right here. We are going to need a paintbrush. Got it. We are going to need some water, watercolor paint. Got them. Check. Paper, watercolor paper, just plain paper. And Heather just has some plain old paper, whatever size you want. And then one straw per person. Don't share your straws, especially with COVID going around um, and just seasonal flu stuff and allergies. It's not good to share. So keep your straws to yourself, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so what we're going to do today is we are going to make a basic drawing. And I'm going to tilt the camera down so you can see it. I hope you can hear my voice. So, what you do is you dip your straw or your paintbrush, see, paintbrush here, and we will have paint available for you if you don't have any. And they will be on the cart outside as well. You dip your paintbrush in here, then I'm going to pick some colors out of our palette. So, I'm going to do a little bit of orange. Okay, and then let's see, a little bit of orange, we got to get these wet first though. A little bit of yellow, get these things wet in here so we can get them going. Okay, and I'm going to do a little bit of red so we can figure things out. I think I'm going to draw a sun. So let's get going. So the object of this is make a simple drawing like a circle or a sun or even a heart or square right so once you're happy with your shape start and paint it I'm gonna start painting right now let's get going so I'm gonna draw the Sun right I'm gonna paint the Sun and see what we can do yeah there we go Some water here you dip it Let's see, let's do some spatters of orange in there because it's not all the same. So, some interesting things about paint is if you look at a color wheel, you will see each color has a contrasting color. Also, so contrasting means it's the opposite, but they, they come together really well and match very well. Another thing you can do... Let's keep adding this orange to it. We gotta have a pretty sun. And I like the suns and the sunset. That's my favorite kind of sun. When the sun starts going down and gets a little bit of hints of red and oranges and yellows. And sometimes we get spoiled and get what they call a cotton candy sunrise, sunset. When you get the oranges and the blue, the reds and pinks blues and purples now that's my favorite and then you get the big bright orange sun going down so let's add a little bit of red to this we'll do some red sunburst how about that right. Miss Heather likes to make sounds And make sure you have plenty of water on here so we can do a little bit extra with our paint. Okay? I'm going to have to add a little bit of water to this one. A little bit extra right here. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. Alright, let's add a little bit of water to this right here. Let's see what we can do. If you don't have enough, just add a little bit of water from your cup. See? You have a cup right here. I'm going to add some water to it, okay? Alright. Let's see. Like I said, we will have some paint palettes like this available for you to pick up. If you do not have any, you're more than welcome to come get some of ours. We are willing to share. 
All right. Now this is where the fun part comes in. Let's choose our straw. Let's do this. So I've got my straw here, right? So put it in my mouth. Go. Add a little bit more water. It's a touch and go process. A little bit more here. Add a little bit more. It's all in the process, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see what we can do. So this is fun because I've never done this before. So this is something interesting you can do at home. Make it fun. Okay, let's see what we can get from it. See, it's even got some cool sound to it. And if you are, if you have long hair, it's probably a good idea to put it behind your back. And kiddos, if you have a table that's nice, we should probably add something to put on your table. I just have an old table, so it's okay not to have a tablecloth. Alright, I'm going to add a little bit more paint so we can have some, a little bit more adventure to it. A little more texture. Let's see what we, this gets us, huh? Now this is something anybody can do. As long as you're able to hold something and use a straw, you should be able to do this. This is something really fun. Are you ready? Let's do this. turning out guys so something blowing through the straw to get the paint to move is much like wind blowing across a lake you're creating energy that moves the paint and the water so I'm gonna add some little burst of color in here okay and all I did was dip my brush into water and go into the paint and I'm going to just put some random stuff around here, okay? And let's see how good we can make this sunset. All right. All right. And it's okay to use some excess water. That's what gives you movement. And you can change all your colors around and do that. And let's see what we got. Let's do this. How neat is that? It kind of looks like a firework now. Let's see. Okay. So, the paint in the water mixture drives due to the process called evaporation. Let's put this back up here so I can give you this quick lesson. So, this is called evaporation. When the paint dries, it will evaporate and turns into gas and then it disappears into the air, just like that. So, I hope you enjoyed your lesson today. Um, so, sorry, this is the first time. I hope you enjoyed your lesson with STEAM today, and I will be back with you next week. Enjoy, guys! And don't forget, pick up your packets so you can do it, and we'll be posting this online. Have a good day!